Now this 20 gallon long behind me, and you know if you've been following my channel, I've set it up during the new year and it's been going since. Now originally this was my Dutch style tank and I let it go and then I decided, well I didn't want to do that much maintenance to it. I decided to go low tech with it and of course that didn't work out because after a month I got impatient with the plant growth and decided to just go ahead and put the better light back on it and start pumping CO2 back into the tank. So that's what I did. So last week I got some new plants for this tank here and I want to go ahead and rescape some of this stuff. And it also needs a water change. I haven't done a water change in like two months. So it's the perfect time to give you an update on this tank and tell you what's going on because you guys asked for it. Anything for you guys. Let's get wet. So from the last update, quick update video, just a couple of days ago, you know that I've added a dwarf grami in this tank as well as a bunch of rasporas, so it makes the tank more, look more busy with all the fishes in it. So let's go over really quick on the tank, what's going on now and what the plants are in it right now. Now, as you can see here, these Amazon swords compact have grown out fully and very nicely. That small little compactor that was in the back of this rock here is now fully grown out. So it looks really, really good in this tank. Now the bane of my existence is the dwarf Sagittaria. This stuff will just keep growing and if you give it the right environment it'll just grow out of control which it does right here. Now I want you to know this labellia here that's been sitting here that's been growing it's actually planted two three inches back towards the driftwood there. The stupid dwarf Sag going out of control that it actually moved this labellia out of the way and uprooted it. This is how annoying this plant can get. Speaking about the labellia, as you can see, some of the leaves fell off in the bottom. It has to do with also the heat because we've been getting a heat wave lately and my place isn't very well AC'd. So I'm going to have to trim it down a bit and then replant them, which is fine. I was going to just go ahead and propagate them, but at this point I don't need to do that. The other reason with the leaves is because the stupid pearl weed was blocking the light from you know getting to these labellia so that's the other reasons why these were falling off so we'll go ahead and fix that and uh, make it look better now as I said this pearl weed grew out of control it was blocking the lights it didn't do so well on these Anubias down here because the Anubias wasn't getting any light now since I got the blix as what I'm gonna do I decided to just pull out all the pearl weed I'll throw it into the grow out tank that I have now, I'm gonna plant the Blixias back there make it a more open space on this side of the tank as well as take out the cryptochlorines there. It's taking forever to grow. And I'm gonna go ahead and put in the Rotalia butterflies that I got from the auctions right in that spot right here. Okay, that's the plan, let's get to it. All right, glass cover, dirty as heck. We need to clean this up. Okay, glass cover cleaned, simple, easy. Now, I have to watch out for this because since I cleaned the glass cover, the tank's going to get a lot more lighting, so I have to watch out for that and readjust the CO2 to specifications. Now, new plants that I got from the auction was the Blixa, which is a big mother plant. It's already split in two. Uh, I could split this even more and even this into two, probably two plants, this into maybe four. So we'll have, you know, about six bushels growing in, in the tank itself. So it'll be a lot. This is a nice, healthy Blixa. Lots of Rotala butterflies, as you can see here. So we're going to have to figure out how to plant these. These are so spirally, you know what, what I'm saying here, spirally. This bunch, which I've already trimmed, was from, what, 30 stemlings or whatever? Way back when, when I planted this? It's nice and healthy though, and it's stripping all my floor, so I'm gonna go put it in the grout tank. So the cryptochlorines didn't grow much above, but man, is there a lot of roots. 
So, well, it's murky as heck. So instead of waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and do the water change now 50% and uh, go from there. Okay, so water change done, and as you can tell, it's pretty clear, or clear enough to start planting. Still a little murky, but that will just go away over time. So let's go ahead and plant the Bertella butterflies. Okay, so the footage for the when planting the towel is a little murky, so I don't know if you saw anything. So hopefully we'll just move on and uh, we can see it in a couple of weeks. Hopefully the towel grows because it's so stringy. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is do the Blixa. And again, like I said, you could split this in about six, probably six stems or six bushels. And uh, we'll see what we can do with it. So yeah, it was a little murky, but we're gonna to have to see what happens after, you know, after it's all done and everything. So the next step is to go ahead and trim up the labellias and replant them. Okay, so I'm done. I had to wait a little bit before I filmed this part of it because I had to wait for the tank to settle. So it's settled enough so you can see a little bit of it. What's really sad is my poor SAE doesn't have his place to hang out anymore. He used to hang out in that huge bunch of pearl weed and he just used to just nest in there and just, I don't know what he does in there, but he's been looking for it now that everything's changed up. And my autos came out. I thought they all died, but and they're here. So it looks good. We'll see what happens in uh, maybe a week or two, and then I'll do an update sometime in the future. Who knows when I get to these updates. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're new here, remember to hit that subscribe button and that notification icon. And uh, hit that like button and leave a comment and let me know what you think of the tank. I'll talk at you guys later and stay wet with your tanks. Bye.